When Forest Hills was selected as the building site for a West Side High School, developers recognized the potential for a massive sports stadium. The natural shape of the hill, along with the fall area at the bottom, meant that a football stadium behind the school was destined. After the construction of the school building, it was decided that a retaining wall was needed to prevent a landslide. Bidding for this massive undertaking started in June of 1921, but all bids for the building of the stadium were rejected in the same month. A bid was needed before construction could begin. On August 27, 1921, it was announced that a bid was accepted and that the bowl would be constructed by contractor William H. Grammer. Construction of the stadium started in the fall of 1921. The first 100-foot section of the wall supported a set of wooden bleachers that would seat about 4,000 spectators. This section of the wall was completed in 1921. In 1922, the curved section and the extension towards the field house of the stadium was built. Not for spectators, but because the hill around the first 100-foot structure was eroding and dumping mud and dirt onto the track. The curved section of the stadium made it look similar to the Yale Bowl, and it presented the stadium with a feeling that was indescribable. When this curved section and the extension were completed, people started calling the stadium at Wright's the Wright's Bowl. With the extended section of the stadium added, the stadium was roughly 670 feet long. Up to 1922, the stadium cost about $55,000 to build. The stadium was originally contracted to cost about $20,000. Saturday games in the fall of the 20s were great, but in 1931, a massive improvement came to the bowl. Lights were added in 1931 to adequately provide a way for students to play at night. Along with the lights, a field house was added at the end of the field. The 50s were also good years for the Wrights Bowl. In 1951, the lights were updated with modern equipment of the time to provide a better nighttime game experience. Also, in 1958, it was decided that the old scoreboard needed some attention. So a new scoreboard was installed along with the new sound system. One of the tremendous improvements that came in 1974 was the PAT irrigation system and a prescription athletic turf field installed by Doug Warren Nursing. Schools like Purdue just installed systems like this. Another improvement that came in 1974 was the new fiberglass benches that proved to be more comfortable than the previous wooden benches. A track was also installed in 1974, and it was such a tight squeeze that it cut into the corners of the football field. One of the last improvements that came to the Bulls in 1995 with the new improved play clock and sound system. Eight years later, an even better sound system was installed that rivaled schools in the Big Ten. A new scoreboard was added in 2008, which was donated by St. Mary's Hospital, which is now known as St. Vincent. Then, in 2009, artificial turf was added to the stadium. The Wrights Bowl is renowned as one of the nation's most historic and unique high school football stadiums. It is dedicated to the great Herman Byers, who led the team on a 189-51 win-loss record in his career. He is renowned as one of Wright's football's greatest coaches. The bowl has become one of the West Side's most deeply rooted traditions. The feeling that both players and fans get from being in the Wright's Bowl is unlike any other. The Wright's Bowl is and always will be one of the most memorable things in the city of Evansville.